Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit Vertical Bar Stealth Strategic Heavy Bomber in Action What is the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit? The Northrop, later Northrop Grumman, B-2 Spirit, also known as the Stealth Bomber, is an American heavy strategic bomber, featuring low observable stealth technology designed for penetrating dense enemy aircraft defenses. Designed during the Cold War, it is a flying wing design with a crew of two. The bomber is subsonic and can deploy both conventional and thermonuclear weapons, such as up to 8500 pound class, 230 kg, MK-82 Gem GPS guided bombs, or 16 2400 pound, 1100 kg, B-83 nuclear bombs. The B-2 is the only acknowledged aircraft that can carry large air-to-surface standoff weapons in a stealth configuration. What does the B-2 Spear do? The B-2 provides the penetrating flexibility and effectiveness inherent in manned bombers. Its low observable, or stealth, characteristics give it the unique ability to penetrate an enemy's most sophisticated defenses and threaten its most valued, and heavily defended, targets. Is the B-2 Spirit still in service? The most advanced of these and likely the most advanced bomber ever to have flown in operational service is the B-2 Spirit Bomber, which remains in service with the Air Force today. Is B-2 Spirit really stealth? The B-2 Spirit is one of the most clandestine and rare planes in the world. Only 21 were ever built, and they reportedly have a stealth profile similar to that of a large bird despite their 170-foot wingspan. And they're invisible to many infrared seekers, despite four large engines. The B-2 actually has a bed, a toilet, and a microwave aboard so creature comforts are covered for pilots who need a break. But these features come with a price. The B-2 is the most expensive bomber in history. Development started under the Advanced Technology Bomber ATB, project during the Carter administration, its expected performance was one of the President's reasons for the cancellation of the Mach 2 capable B-1A bomber. The ATB project continued during the Reagan administration, but worries about delays in its introduction led to the reinstatement of the B-1 program. Program costs rose throughout development. Designed and manufactured by Northrop. Later Northrop Grumman, the cost of each aircraft averaged 737 million US dollars in 1997 dollars. Total procurement costs averaged 929 million dollars per aircraft, which includes spare parts, equipment, retrofitting, and software support. The total program cost, which included development, engineering and testing, averaged 2.13 billion dollars per aircraft in 1997. Because of its considerable capital and operating costs, the project was controversial in the U.S. Congress. The winding down of the Cold War in the latter portion of the 1980s dramatically reduced the need for the aircraft, which was designed with the intention of penetrating Soviet airspace and attacking high-value targets. During the late 1980s and 1990s, Congress slashed plans to purchase 132 bombers to 21. In 2008, a B-2 was destroyed in a crash shortly after takeoff, though the crew ejected safely. As of 2018, 20 B-2s are in service with the United States Air Force, which plans to operate them until 2032, when the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider is to replace them. The B-2 is capable of all-altitude attack missions up to 50,000 feet. 15,000 meters, with a range of more than 6,000 nautical miles, 6,900 miles, 11,000 kilometers, on internal fuel and over 10,000 nautical miles, 12,000 miles, 19,000 kilometers, with one midair refueling. It entered its service in 1997 as the second aircraft designed to have advanced stealth technology after the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk attack aircraft. Though designed originally as primarily a nuclear bomber, the B-2 was first used in combat dropping conventional, non-nuclear ordnance in the Kosovo War in 1999. It later served in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya. During its design and development, the Northrop B-2 program was a black project requiring a secret clearance for all program personnel before its revelation to the public. Unlike the Lockheed F-117 program, which was also a black project, 
the type of military project which very few people knew even existed while it was being designed and developed, more people within the United States federal government knew about the B-2 and more information about the project was available. Both during development and in service, considerable effort has been devoted to maintaining the security of the B-2S design and technologies. Staff working on the B-2 in most, if not all, capacities have to achieve a level of special access clearance, and undergo extensive background checks carried out by a special branch of the USAF. For the manufacturing, a former Ford Automobile Assembly Plant in Pico Rivera, California, was acquired and heavily rebuilt, the plant's employees were sworn to complete secrecy regarding their work. To avoid the possibility of suspicion, components were typically purchased through front companies, military officials would visit out of uniform, and staff members were routinely subjected to polygraph examinations. The secrecy extended so far that access to nearly all information on the program by both Government Accountability Office GAO, and virtually all members of Congress itself was severely limited until the mid-1980s. Northrop, now Northrop Grumman, was the B-2S prime contractor, major subcontractors included Boeing, Hughes Aircraft, now Raytheon, G, and Vought Aircraft. In 1984, a Northrop employee, Thomas Cavanaugh, was arrested for attempting to sell classified information to the Soviet Union, the information was taken from Northrop Spico Rivera, California factory. Kavanaugh was eventually sentenced to life in prison and released on parole in 2001. The B-2 was first publicly displayed on November 22, 1988 at United States Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California, where it was assembled. This viewing was heavily restricted, and guests were not allowed to see the rear of the B-2. However, Aviation Week editors found that there were no airspace restrictions above the presentation area and took aerial photographs of the aircraft's then secret rear section with suppressed engine exhausts. Citation needed, the B-2 S, SN-82-1066, Avenue 1, first public flight was on July 17, 1989 from Palmdale to Edwards AFB. In October 2005, Nasher Gal Atia, a design engineer who worked on the B-2S propulsion system, was arrested for selling B-2-related classified information to China. Gal Atia was convicted and sentenced to 32 years in prison for his actions. The U.S. Air Force's B-2 stealth bomber is a key component of the nation's long-range strike arsenal, and one of the most survivable aircraft in the world. Its unique stealth characteristics allow it to penetrate the most sophisticated enemy defenses. Designed during the Cold War as the world's first low observable or stealth strategic bomber, the B-2 Spirit harkens back to the designs of revolutionary engineer Jack Northrop. His flying wing design first debuted in 1949 as the YB-49 but was not adopted by the Air Force at the time. The B-2 Spirit is a multi-role bomber capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear munitions. The bomber represents a major milestone in the U.S. bomber modernization program and brings massive firepower to bear anywhere on the globe through previously impenetrable defenses. The B-2 provides the penetrating flexibility and effectiveness inherent in manned bombers. Its low observable characteristics give it the unique ability to penetrate an enemy's most sophisticated defenses and threaten its most valued, and heavily defended, targets. Its capability to penetrate air defenses and threaten effective retaliation provides a strong, effective deterrent and combat force well into the 21st century. The revolutionary blending of low observable technologies with high aerodynamic efficiency and large payload gives the B-2 important advantages over existing bombers. Its low observability provides it greater freedom of action at high altitudes, thus increasing its range and a better field of view for the aircraft's sensors. Its unrefueled range is approximately 6,000 nautical miles 9, kilometers. The B-2S low observability is derived from a combination of reduced infrared, acoustic, electromagnetic, visual and radar signatures. These signatures make it difficult for the sophisticated defensive systems to detect, track and engage the B-2. Many aspects of the low observability process remain classified, however, the B-2S composite materials, 
special coatings and flying wing design all contribute to its stealthiness. The B-2 has a crew of two pilots, a pilot in the left seat and mission commander in the right, compared to the B-1B's crew of four and the B-52's crew of five. The first B-2 was publicly displayed on November 22, 1988, when it was rolled out of its hangar at Air Force Plant 42, Palmdale, California Its first flight was July 17, 1989. The B-2 Combined Test Force, Air Force Flight Test Center, Edwards Air Force Base, California, is responsible for flight testing the engineering, manufacturing and development aircraft on the B-2. Whiteman AFB Missouri, is the only operational base for the B-2. The first aircraft, Spirit of Missouri, was delivered December 17, 1993. Depot maintenance responsibility for the B-2 is performed by Air Force Contractor Support and is managed at the Oklahoma City Air Logistics Center at Tinker AFB Oklahoma. The combat effectiveness of the B-2 was proved in Operation Allied Force, where it was responsible for destroying 33% of all Serbian targets in the first eight weeks, by flying non-stop to Kosovo from its home base in Missouri and back. Allegedly it was a B-2 Spirit which dropped the bombs that destroyed the Chinese embassy in Sarajevo. In support of Operation Enduring Freedom, the B-2 flew one of its longest missions to date from Whiteman to Afghanistan and back. The B-2 completed its first ever combat deployment in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, flying 22 sorties from a forward operating location as well as 27 sorties from Wyman AFB and releasing more than 1.5 million pounds of munitions. The aircraft received full operational capability status in December 2003. On February 1, 2009, the Air Force's newest command, Air Force Global Strike Command assumed responsibility for the B-2 from Air Combat Command. The B-2 Spirit was developed to take over the USAF's vital penetration missions, able to travel deep into enemy territory to deploy ordnance which could include nuclear weapons. The B-2 is a flying wing aircraft, meaning that it has no fuselage or tail. It has significant advantages over previous bombers due to its blend of low observable technologies with high aerodynamic efficiency and large payload. Low observability provides a greater freedom of action at high altitudes, thus increasing both range and field of view for onboard sensors. The USAF reports its range as approximately 6,000 nautical miles, 6,900 miles, 11,000 kilometers. At cruising altitude, the B-2 refuels every 6 hours, taking on up to 50 short tons, 45,000 kilograms, of fuel at a time. The development and construction of the B-2 required pioneering use of computer-aided design and manufacturing technologies, due to its complex flight characteristics and design requirements to maintain very low visibility to multiple means of detection. The B-2 bears a resemblance to earlier Northrop aircraft. The YB-35 and YB-49 were both flying wing bombers that had been cancelled in development in the early 1950s, allegedly for political reasons. The resemblance goes as far as B-2 and YB-49 having the same wingspan. The YB-49 also had a small radar cross-section. Approximately 80 pilots fly the B-2. Each aircraft has a crew of two, a pilot in the left seat and mission commander in the right, and has provisions for a third crew member if needed. For comparison, the B-1B has a crew of four and the B-52 has a crew of five. The B-2 is highly automated, and one crew member can sleep in a camp bed, use a toilet, or prepare a hot meal while the other monitors the aircraft, unlike most two-seat aircraft. Extensive sleep cycle and fatigue research was conducted to improve crew performance on long sorties. Advanced training is conducted at the USAF Weapons School. The B-2, Indian envisaged Cold War scenario, was to perform deep penetrating nuclear strike missions, making use of its stealthy capabilities to avoid detection and interception throughout missions. There are two internal bomb bays in which munitions are stored either on a rotary launcher or two bomb racks. The carriage of the weapons loadouts internally results in less radar visibility than external mounting of munitions. The B-2 is capable of carrying 40,000 pounds, 18,000 kilograms, of ordnance. 
Nuclear Ordnance includes the B-61 and B-83 nuclear bombs, the AGM-129 ACM cruise missile was also intended for use on the B-2 platform. It was decided, in light of the dissolution of the Soviet Union, to equip the B-2 for conventional precision attacks as well as for the strategic role of nuclear strike. The B-2 features a sophisticated GPS-aided targeting system GATS, that uses the aircraft's APQ-181 synthetic aperture radar to map out targets prior to deployment of GPS-aided bombs GAMs, later superseded by the Joint Direct Attack Munition JDAM. In the B-2S original configuration, up to 16 GAMs or GAMs could be deployed, an upgrade program in 2004 raised the maximum carryable capacity to 8 each GAMs. The B-2 has various conventional weapons in its arsenal, able to equip Mark 82 and Mark 84 bombs, CBU-87 combined effects munitions, Gator mines, and the CBU-97 sensor fused weapon. In July 2009, Northrop Grumman reported the B-2 was compatible with the equipment necessary to deploy the 30,000 pounds, 14,000 kilograms, massive ordnance penetrator, MOP, which is intended to attack reinforced bunkers. Up to two MOPs could be equipped in the B-2S bomb base with one per bay. The B-2 is the only platform compatible with the MOP as of 2012. As of 2011, the AGM-158 Jassim cruise missile is an upcoming standoff munition to be deployed on the B-2 and other platforms. This is to be followed by the long-range standoff weapon which may give the B-2 a standoff nuclear capability for the first time. To make the B-2 more effective than previous bombers, many advanced and modern avionics systems were integrated into its design, these have been modified and improved following a switch to conventional warfare missions. One system is the low probability of intercept and slash APQ-181 multi-mode radar, a fully digital navigation system that is integrated with terrain following radar and global positioning system GPS. Guidance, NAS-26 Astero Inertial Navigation System, first such system tested on the Northrop SM-62 Snark cruise missile, and a defensive management system, DMS, to inform the flight crew of possible threats. The onboard DMS is capable of automatically assessing the detection capabilities of identified threats and indicated targets. The DMS will be upgraded by 2021 to detect radar emissions from air defenses to allow changes to the auto router's mission planning information while in flight so it can receive new data quickly to plan a route that minimizes exposure to dangers. For safety and fault detection purposes, an onboard test system is linked with the majority of avionics on the B-2 to continuously monitor the performance and status of thousands of components and consumables. It also provides post-mission servicing instructions for ground crews. In 2008, many of the 136 standalone distributed computers on board the B-2, including the primary flight management computer, were being replaced by a single integrated system. The avionics are controlled by 13 EMP-resistant mil STD 1750A computers, which are interconnected through 26 mil STD 1553B buses, other system elements are connected via optical fiber. In addition to periodic software upgrades and the introduction of new radar absorbent materials across the fleet, the V-2 has had several major upgrades to its avionics and combat systems. For battlefield communications, both Link-16 and a high-frequency satellite link have been installed, compatibility with various new munitions has been undertaken, and the in slash apq 181 radar's operational frequency was shifted to avoid interference with other operators' equipment. The arrays of the upgraded radar features were entirely replaced to make the in slash apq 181 into an active electronically scanned array AESA, radar. Due to the B-2S composite structure, it is required to stay 40 miles, 64 kilometers, away from thunderstorms, to avoid static discharge and lightning strikes. The B-2S low observable, or stealth, characteristics enable the undetected penetration of sophisticated anti-aircraft defenses and to attack even heavily defended targets. This stealth comes from a combination of reduced acoustic, infrared, visual and radar signatures, 
multispectral camouflage, to evade the various detection systems that could be used to detect and be used to direct attacks against an aircraft. The B-2S stealth enables the reduction of supporting aircraft that are required to provide air cover, suppression of enemy air defenses and electronic countermeasures, making the bomber a force multiplier. As of September 2013, there have been no instances of a missile being launched at a B-2. To reduce optical visibility during daylight flights, the B-2 is painted in an anti-reflective paint. The undersides are dark because it flies at high altitudes, 50,000 feet, 15,000 meters, and at that altitude a dark gray painting blends well into the sky. It is speculated to have an upward-facing light sensor which alerts the pilot to increase or reduce altitude to match the changing illuminance of the sky. The original design had tanks for a contrail inhibiting chemical, but this was replaced in production aircraft by a contrail sensor that alerts the crew when they should change altitude. The B-2 is vulnerable to visual interception at ranges of 20 nautical miles, 23 miles, 37 kilometers, or less. The B-2 is stored in a $5 million specialized air-conditioned hangar to maintain its stealth coating. Every seven years, this coating is carefully removed by being washed off with crystallized wheat starch so that the B-2S surfaces can be inspected for any dents or scratches. A product of the Cold War, it was originally designed to penetrate Soviet air defenses and carry both conventional and nuclear weapons. But shortly after its first flight, over 30 years ago in 1989, the fall of the Berlin Wall ended the Cold War and no B-2 has ever flown inside Russian airspace. Nevertheless, it has seen its fair share of combat. The first B-2 was delivered in 1993 to Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, where the fleet is based and still operates, and its first operational use was during the 1999 Kosovo War. One of the most sophisticated flying machines in existence, the B-2 can reach a target anywhere in the world and return to base, refueling in mid-air. No B-2 has ever been lost in combat. It is really one of a kind, completely unlike any other plane ever designed, Rebecca Grant, a B-2 and aerospace expert who has flown in the classified plane, said in a phone interview. Seen from the cockpit, the flying wing is so distinctive. It is very special, more of a sentient being than just a regular airplane. Maybe that's why all of the B-2s are rumored to have unique personalities and they're often referred to as she. While no B-2 has ever been lost in combat, the plane doesn't even have defensive weapons. One was destroyed in an accident in 2008, when it crashed shortly after takeoff from Anderson Air Force Base on Guam, the pilots ejected safely. Another B-2 was severely damaged in a fire in 2010 and sustained extensive repairs before coming back into service. All B-2s are named after a U.S. state, except two. Spirit of America and Spirit of Kitty Hawk, and are among the most high-maintenance planes in existence, and tens of hours of servicing are needed for each hour of flight. The delicate skin of the plane, which provides additional stealth, must be stored at cool temperature, requiring air-conditioned hangars that contribute to the high operating costs. Because of the small fleet and its classified technologies, the B-2 is a coveted plane to fly, and only a few pilots have ever boarded one. They have a very rigorous selection procedure, but one thing they place great value on is personality and compatibility. You have to be the right kind of person to fly those 40-hour missions with a two-person crew. It flies like a regular plane, but it has some unique features. When you fly, you're right up on the front edge, so the perspective is very different and it takes some real skill to refuel and to land. 